And Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the foyer, wasn't he? No. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Depp had his penis out of his, out Objection. Of his pants, didn't he? I think I would remember Relevance. Mr. Depp's penis. Uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, correct? Correct. I was trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, yes. And Mr. Depp was refusing to leave the house, was he not? Not so much refused. He just wanted two minutes to see his piece. You took Mr. Depp's arm to try to move him out, but he broke away. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. I mean, so he was strong enough to break away from your grip, correct? No. So you had his arm and he broke away, though, correct? No. Isn't that what you just said? No, I let him go. And you, Mr. Depp's also provided you gifts, correct? Gifts? Gifts. Money? Gift, yes. Gifts? Yes. Yeah. You know, yes, he's, yes, Johnny's given me gifts. I'll give Johnny gifts. Get, and you've had, he's given you gifts over $8,500, correct? $8,500. Yeah. You give me a lot more than that. Okay. <laughs> and you're loyal to Mr. Depp, right? I'm, yes, of course I'm loyal to Mr. Depp. I'm loyal, I'd be loyal to you if I was working for you. Okay. What changes, if any, have you noticed in his behavior when he's under the influence? He's got a very high tolerance for any substance, Johnny, you know, I would say so, you know. I think uh, Jack Sparrow's more drunk than Johnny Depp, to be honest. Can we play um, Exhibit 380A, which is already in evidence? Plaintiffs or defendants, I'm sorry. Uh, it's defendants, Exhibit 380A. It's 380A. What, what is this? Uh, sorry, what, what is this? Uh, and this is a recording from Australia, and it's just of Mr. Depp. I don't, I don't think that's in evidence, Your Honor. Hold on. It's not, it's not in evidence. Are plaintiffs exhibit 380A? I, I don't believe there are any recordings from Australia in evidence, Your Honor. I don't I think, have anything I think this, in evidence. There, def there definitely is. It's, it's, it's of, just of Mr. Depp. We can... Three, I don't have 380 in evidence. It's 380A. 380. I have, Jamie says it was ID'd, but never admitted. <laughs> Would you agree that if you did not find something that would be in favor of Mr. Depp and negative to Ms. Hurd, that you wouldn't be an expert in this case? That Essentially, you into court if, if you're going to say that Ms. Heard is right and Mr. Depp is wrong, correct? So as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that and I Do, discuss Dr. that Curry, with the attorneys. Asking you, I'm asking you a question. I'd like you to try to answer okay. my question. You understand that if you found favorably to Ms. Heard and negatively to Mr. Depp, you wouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be testifying. No, I, okay, sorry, hold on. The objection is speculation. I, I, that's, that's not speculation. No, I'll sustain the objection if you want to ask. Okay. If, it goes to bias, Your Honor. I sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. All right. And what do you interpret that swelling to be? What do I, what do I interpret it as? That's, uh, either he's, he's walked into a door or a door's walked into him. Okay. Well, you didn't stay the night or were you at his house when you did stay the night? Were there other people in the house who saw you there? Who would those people be? Um, he had an assistant. <clears throat> His sister. That's all I can remember now. Do you recall the name of the assistant? I don't know his name. He was referred to <clears throat> as Pig. He was referred to by whom as Pig? Johnny Depp. At any point that you were either initially friends and then sexual with Mr. Depp, uh, were you, did you become aware that he uh, um, drink to excess. Heard, told you that you vomit in your sleep a lot. Do you remember that recording? Yes, I do. And what's your response to that? The 
someone, when someone tells you that you vomit, she didn't tell me. I heard it in court. I, when someone brings up the fact that you vomit in your sleep every night, and well, at first I think you'd be aware of it. Um, and also, I think uh, the first thing that I would do is seek medical attention. It didn't exist. I'd never vomited in my sleep every night. I, I. Well, it may seem basic to hear at first, the case that is going on with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in this particular instance, the defamation case that has been going on for over two weeks now.